There's nothing harder than an elephant's pussy and also pickpocketing, which is why today I'm going to show you a card trick where you could emulate the, the action of pickpocketing without really having the cold, hard skill of the, the European classic family fun adventure that is uh, pickpocketing. So uh, here you need a, a regular deck of cards, a regulation uh, deck of cards here that's mixed and shuffle and the spectator selects any old card they want. So let's say it's uh, this hot old card right here. This card gets put in the middle of the deck and uh, false shuffle to your your heart's content here. It could, you could false shuffle the shit out of this deck right here. Um, but ultimately the deck uh, is, is, you know, turned around and you tell the spectator that you're going to show them the cards here. And uh, just to confirm if they could see their card within this small pile of cards here. So they, you show them these cards one at a time and you ask them if they could see uh, their cards somewhere inside of this pile. Of course, the spectator is going to respond with an overwhelming yes. Uh, and you say, relax, uh, sir, this isn't um, an elephant's posy. So uh, you hand these cards to the spectator and uh, you tell them to hold them in their hand, much like uh, that of an African child here. So you hold the spectator's hand here and you say, I'm going to try to pickpocket you, sir. So let's, let's see how good we could do here. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so you, you manage to take one card and lo, it be the spectator's uh, selected uh, playing card. And of course, they look inside of the pile in their hand uh, and their card is nowhere to be found, thus concluding this powerful yet somewhat arousing card trick. I, I know what you're thinking. How, how, Mr. Magic Boy, how can I uh, have and experience the hardness of an elephant's posy? And here it is. Here's how to do it. So you have a, a spectator select a card. And while the spectator is selecting the card here, you're doing the sneaky action here. Here's the sneaky move right here. You're getting a little pinky break right here below two cards on the, the left hand of the deck here. So you just have a pinky break right here with two cards right there. So when the spectator is looking at their card, you have all the time in the world to count two cards off for yourself. Put your pinky in there like it's an elementary school prom and you're ready to go. So when the spectator returns the card to the deck, they're putting it right above your little pinky there. So once you square it up, that pinky break stays and you're ready to cut that little packet right to the bottom of the deck here. So now their card is actually gonna be the third from the face here. You could get that card to the third from the face in whatever uh, way you want. You could use the illusionist magic stream control here. To, to get it to the third from the bottom if you choose to subscribe to that product. However, if you want actual quality magic, you should check out the Any Card at Any Number project at www.pickcake.me. It's, it's a hot, hot item. Rave reviews all around. So now that you've gotten the card to the uh, third position here, you're going to tell the spectator that you're going to show the cards, but not tell uh, to tell you when they see the card, but not to inform you what their card is here. So you're going to go through these cards. You're going to deal one fairly, deal the next one fairly onto the left hand. Then when you deal the next one, that's right. Once again, like an elementary school dance recital, you're going to stick your pinky in there and it's going to traumatize them for many years to come. But once you go over here to peel this card off, you guessed that we're doing our old friend of Biddle Steel. So this card is going to get squared up with the rest of the deck in the back here as this card gets peeled off into the left hand. And you have now surreptitiously, uh, surreptitiously stolen the card here all the way uh, as you are doing the natural action of dealing through these cards. So once you get to a couple cards and you have 
confirm to the spectator that they are now autistic. What you do is you uh, hand these cards to the spectator and you take these cards back and the spectator will be holding these cards and you inform them to put these cards in the sandwich like fashion, much like they're holding the, um, the hard erection of a rhinoceros. But this gives you the motivation to put your, your hands over the deck to palm the top card. That's right. You're going to need a palm here. So really the misdirection is strong because the attention is on a spectator holding the cards. So they're not really going to be paying attention to your hands much. So you're, you're going to do whatever palm you want. In my preference, my personal pronoun preference is doing a one-handed top palm, which involves the action of using your pinky to push up on the upper right corner of the deck here, which is going to propel that card into the palm. That's, that's my preferred pronoun technique there to, to, to the palm method. However, uh, if you want, what you could do is a classic push off here. So you push the card off with your thumb, then you push with your pinky, which is going to push that card right in the palm and uh, put it there. However, with the misdirection, you could just hold the cards in this sort of way until the card actually sticks to your palm uh, because of your sweaty fucking palm. So you could do whichever technique you want, but ultimately the card has to end up in your palm there. So you hold the cards and you say, sir, okay, I'm gonna try to extract that card from you. And at this point, really, it's up to you how you decide to, to extract the card from the spectator. You could do the classic bump technique. So you could use your left hand as misdirection as you palm the card here and say, oh, see, look, boom, uh, and then steal the card that way. Or you could bump into them and uh, take the card in uh, this sort of pickpocket sort of fashion. If you want to give it a little bit more pizzazz, what you could do is uh, do this sort of action. So put your left hand over their hand, which some would argue is uh, constitutes a sexual harassment, but you're doing it within the confines of a card trick. So anything goes here. Then you're going to reach this other hand inside of the gap you create, and you're going to pretend to, to remove this card from their palm. And uh, you, you're going to show that you've taken the, the four of clubs from their, their, their dead stiff hands here. So they can look through this pile of cards on a table and they see that the four of clubs is missing. And, you know, they, they, they're convinced that you have the pickpocket ability of an elephant's pussy. So that's, uh, that's, that's, the, um, that's the bare bones method of this. There are so many variations to this. You could have the spectators put these cards in their pocket uh, and then you do the pickpocketing that way. You can have them put it inside of other saucier areas, if you know what I mean, and uh, do the pickpocketing that way. If you want, you could try to experiment with ways to avoid a palm. So maybe you could do this sort of technique. They're holding the cards in their hand. You have their card on top of the deck. They have the cards in this sort of fashion. So you reach underneath their hand. You, you push off the top card here and clip it between the finger, uh, the forefinger and the middle finger as you do this sort of action underneath their hand, pretending like you have extracted this card from somewhere within uh, the, the mess of hands and cards here. And this, this way involves no palm. Once again, that move is you're just pushing a card up here, clipping it between the, the forefinger and the middle finger here. And when you extend those fingers, you see what happens. Oh yeah. Yeah, not only are you extended, but the card is also extended here. So you can now reach in underneath their palm, take out this card and say, see, I've stolen this card surreptitiously from you, sir. Check your pile. They check their pile. And not only are they fully erect at this point, but they notice that their card is missing. So that's a hot pickpocket trick that doesn't require much pickpocket ability. And you don't even need to palm the cards if you choose to do the second method. I, I hope you enjoyed that enough to do all the things that people usually do on a YouTube video. However, in a way that would help me out because you're doing it on my channel. So I'm going to go watch cards and elephants make sex. I see you again when 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 I see you again. When I see you again, 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 when I
Bitch. 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 Bitch.